Hello, I'm Ardarion, and today we are playing survival again. Yay! Uh, so uh, I've got a couple of cool things planned for today, but first let's check out the progress that I've done in between episodes. So I've planted some wheat along the side of the river, and if we have some time today, we will continue on making this river prettier. Maybe plant some bushes on the sides and add some. Uh, sugarcane, uh, yeah, and I've been harvesting the wheat from time to time because I, I was breeding the cows and the sheep in our new meat farm, meat shop, whatever. Uh, second of all, I was doing some AFK fishing and we now have uh, six name tags and uh, three saddles. It was actually four saddles. I found a horse. I was riding the horse for a little bit of time and then it disappeared and I can't find it anywhere so we now have three saddles and we will find a fast horse maybe next episode. Uh, we also have a couple of cool books and I've got this pretty nice bow which I'm using right now. Uh, so I've actually got uh, seven name tags. Uh, but I used one up already because I caught an invisible spider. Uh, it's invisible, so yeah, you have to trust. Uh, take my word on that. No, actually, no, you can you can kind of see his eyes and the particles. So, yeah, he's in there, and I gave him a name. Oh no! Tell me that he didn't get out. Oh no! Okay, he's still inside. Uh, I gave him a name, but he is invisible. So, you know, uh, the names don't display on invisible mobs. So I guess the only way for me to show you how he is called is to uh, do... Uh... Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Uh... Well, darn. Okay, this should work. We just do this. Start a long word. Yeah, I called him on your imagination so that when if I ever show this word to someone and we're gonna go like here and he's gonna ask me what's, what's in this cage, uh, I'm gonna say it's, it's only your imagination and he's gonna say like, but I can see red eyes in there. No, no, it's only your imagination. Yes, very extremely funny, I know. Uh, le uh, let's get to the other things I've done uh, and they're over at the cottage, so be right back. Okay, in the cottage I've uh, built a little well. It isn't too deep, but we have it. I might change the uh, birch planks to spruce, because I think I like spruce better, but we'll see. And we have this little cauldron as a, a bucket to pick out, pick the water from the well. Uh, inside the cottage uh, we now have a almost full set of armor, which dropped from the uh, various mobs I've been killing and actually my boots and helmet run out so we will just equip those and I don't have a helmet I have uh, some more armor here but no helmet so we're gonna have to make one um, so let's just do that really quick and put on new boots for the mannequin okay uh, I've put some building uh, uh, or paintings uh, on the walls and also I've updated the map on my horse. Uh, it's I'm so sad he's dead because it was a decent horse actually. It was a, a nice jumper and it was relatively fast. So I'm kind of sad I lost it, but we now have a full map. And uh, I've been also grinding some cows and oh yeah, I was supposed to show you that. We now have plenty of cows in there and uh, I've made 15 bookshelves and I also got a diamond pickaxe and I made an enchantment table so we will just set up a temporary uh, enchanting station over here I guess um, so wait uh, like that uh, huh. how do we do this Um, huh, okay, let's let's do it like this. Okay, nice. And now we can enchant uh, our pickaxes. I'm hoping for efficiency 4 
uh, at least because this episode uh, oh yeah it is a good moment to tell you about my plans uh, in this episode we're gonna go to the nether but I don't want to just enter the nether in an ordinary way I want to enter the nether in style and for that we need a lot of obsidian because I want to make a fancy portal and yeah I don't want to sp spend ages on uh, digging the obsidian so I want to enchant yay well how lucky is that let me just get my lapis we're gonna make an enchantment and I'm probably gonna make another pickaxe because this is gonna probably run out fortune to oh yeah that's a that's a decent pickaxe yay uh, okay let me just uh, go to the fishing shack uh, I will add because I, I fished uh, um, unbreaking free book so I'm gonna add it to the pickaxe and I will also show you the cows well there aren't so many right now because I've been killing them uh, a lot recently trying to get the leather and yeah I stopped breeding the sheep completely because uh, if I breed them too much they get free and yeah just wander around like this this cow here he just got pushed out of his pen, which is unfortunate, but uh, we will have some free roaming cows in our field, which is kind of nice. So let's get to the fishing shack. Hey there, how are you today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. What am I doing? Oh, you no, nothing. Just you know, just mining some obsidian, listening to some Zelda music, you know, like the everyday type of stuff. My God, guys, it's taking ages. I can't stand it, but I have to mine so much more. Ah, I'm so bored. This seemed like a pretty good spot, so I picked it and we're gonna build a portal here so it's relatively close to the cottage and to the town uh, but we won't make a road to here because we want our portals to be kind of uh, like spread across the world and be like um, I don't know they're gonna be like sticking out of the ground and they're gonna look well dark and evil and uh, it's just not the kind of thing you would want the thing you would want near a near a town uh, what i'm getting at okay so let's get to the details here uh, we're basically gonna build a 10 by 10 portal and then add some details along the way so uh, let me just build the frame and we will see how big it will actually be okay we have our middle layer done uh, but as you may notice this center part uh, the part where the portal will go looks a little bit blocky right now so i'll add uh, two more layers one here and one here and we uh, like doing this we can make it look less blocky and more like roundish i guess so we'll try that and I'm gonna get to you with a finished product in a second. Just noticed that I made the uh, portal 12 by 12 and not 10 by 10 and I have to tear it down. Uh, so yeah, good job Artarium. So this is how it looks from a distance. Pretty nice, right? And up close. Let's light it. There we go. So it's nothing like super spectacular, but I really like it and I think it's a nice twist on your regular in the first episode I'm joining uh, I'm entering the nether and I'm building a portal. So yeah, I made a bigger one. And uh, in between episodes I'm gonna um, remove this dirt and replace it with some nether rock and some nether bricks and glowstone and quartz and it's or no wait I can't get quartz yet because I don't have a silk touch pick uh, that's a shame well uh, I'll make the area prettier and it, so it will look like the portal is growing out of the ground which will look pretty nice I hope 
but now let me get prepared and enter the nether. And I don't think I'm gonna film too much of the nether because it's just the boring old nether as you all know it. So maybe once I find a fortress I will record a little clip. So let's go. Also I seem to have made a mistake in my calculations and yeah, I dug up over a stack of extra obsidian. Great. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Uh, so I just dropped off all my valuable stuff and took some blocks, some extra food and I made a golden apple in case things go really bad. And I have my good bow to kill ghasts, so let's enter the nether in style. Yay, achievement gets. So I'll just look around and then I'll stop recording and look for a fortress. I guess. Come on. Don't make the people wait. Come on, terrain generation. Cool, cool. There we go. Mm. No, not yet. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I'm really glad we finally get quartz. What's up with the lag? I am running a download on my computer, but come on. It shouldn't lag so much. Maybe it's just generating the terrain still. Um, but it seems like we spawned in a cave, so I have a whole bunch of digging to do before we find a fortress. So, yeah. See you when I find one. Yes, finally got to the surface. That was a long journey. Oh, could it be? Yes! We have a fortress. Finally. Well, that's that's some good news. The bad news is that I lost myself. I have no idea where I am. I've been like wandering around and hoping to find either the portal or the, or the fortress. And I found the fortress, which is good, but also, it kind of sucks that I can't get back home, so yeah. But let's, let's just explore it. Netherworld! Yay! And we have a blaze spawner. That's really cool too. Oh god. No. Okay, all in all, I found the portal. It took me like uh, 20 minutes to half an hour, maybe, to find it, but yay, I managed to do it, so now we're home. But let's see the hole we got from the uh, trip to the nether. Uh, I didn't collect that much, but we have a fair bit of glowstone, uh, some nether warts, some soul sand, and uh, the best thing, five blaze rods and some quartz. So this, this is pretty cool. And it means that we can get to the second part of the video or the next part of the video or whatever. Uh, basically, I want to get zombie villagers and cure them and have normal villagers. So, I'm just gonna start doing that and I will get back to you guys once I get some progress. Or when I craft a uh, alchemy station, stuff like that. So, be right back. We're gonna set up a temporary uh, brewing spot right here and start making the weakness potions. And the great thing is, I just noticed that by the way, we can uh, grab the empty empty bottles and just about to reach from the well and fill them up, which is quite awesome. Uh, so let me uh, brew the weakness potions. Boop. 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 Yeah, finally got looting. Oop. Oh, I would like to get that joker. Darn. I wonder would he despawn if I run and got a name tag. Okay, let's hope for the best. I'm running for a name tag. Oh, darn it. We didn't get him. Uh, I mean, there are all those dirt cages all around the place now. They look terrible. Haha, <laughs> jokes on you, we got him. <laughs> 
So funny. Okay, uh, yeah, it took quite a while, but I managed to get him. Now I just have some terrain repair to do because, yeah, all this did just not work. For some reason the spider stopped moving and I was able to put a little cage around him. The bow of the skeleton did so much damage though. Uh, I called them, um, for any of you non-Europeans who are watching, you probably don't know what the reference, but I called him uh, Don Quixote de la Mancha. Uh, and basically that is a reference to a quite an old old book about a, a knight uh, killing um, windmills because he thought they were giants and yeah he was riding on his uh, awesome horse called um, I forgot Rosinant yeah Rosinant so I called the spider Rosinant I don't think you can actually see the name tag on the spider, which is kind of a shame, but yeah, it's there. And we have Don Quixote, and it is really rare to get a spider jockey with a full set of armor and an enchanted bow, but we managed to do it, which is awesome. Oh, look, another skeleton. Um, so yeah, we have another... Wow, we have another, like, weird uh, mob in our collection in this video which is really cool. Uh, we just need a few more, like a chicken jockey and maybe a shard creeper, and then we have to build a nice building for them. But yeah, this is really, really awesome. Okay, we have one. Come here. I've made this little... Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Uh, well, that's actually pretty good, because he won't burn in daylight. Come here. I've made, I've made this little cobble trap, now we just go here, and we should be able... Oh, no! Ho, ho. That was close. Okay, um, yeah, we should be able to cure him now, so let's just n not splash ourselves, hopefully, maybe. How are we gonna do that? Oh yeah, it shouldn't the effect shouldn't get us from here. Yeah, and now the golden apple. Come here. And now let's kill the little zombie guy there. Come on. Oh, ho 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 ho! All right. All right. Last thing. Okay, now we can fight. Uh, so I just have to find one more and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Okay, many nights passed but I didn't catch the other villagers so I guess I will do that in between episodes because we're running short on time. Now for the big reveal, what type of villager are you? Shepard. Wow. Uh, is it is there anything good you can get from a shepherd? I don't think so. Well, let's try to trade some wool from him. Uh, so yeah, for the future I'm gonna uh, build a um, villager breeder, and uh, that will be the start of our city. And we will build a house for every villager family, and yeah, it should be pretty fun. Let's unlock your trades. I know it's such a waste, but I I need emeralds. Are you gonna reset yourself? Yep. And I don't need wool, by the way. Oh, wow, <laughs> we can buy a piece of wool. Oh, I see, we can buy any color of wool. Well, that's pretty useful, I guess. That's it. Okay, bye-bye. I hope I never see you again. <clears throat> Eight emeralds. Okay, let's uh, go there for the outro. When I was waiting for the zombies to spawn, I was building this little um, river over here near the fishing shack. So, yeah, that's all I've got for you today. Hope you liked it. And my boat broke. 
and see you in my next video. Bye bye.